I've been a wrestling fan since I was six years old, starting in 1991, but never got into independent wrestling until the early 2000s. Living in Indiana, the first independent wrestling organization I ran into as I got older was IWA Mid-South. Oh, good Lord. Ian has been outspoken about you in the past, and you of him. His honesty has been in question basically since he learned how to talk. (laughs) But is there any truth that you had any of his shows shut down in southern Indiana? If so, thank you. Looking back, the death matches he promoted were beyond abysmal. Oh, good God. This fat fucking hokey mud show wannabe fucking hardcore wrestler, Ian Rotten, was running shows here in the Louisville market uh, back in the 90s and doing the fluorescent light tube, hardcore barbed wire, broken glass bullshit and bringing in the indie darlings like a mark and flying guys in. For the same 200 people in a goddamn converted Kmart or later on as a fucking roller skating rink or whatever the fuck. Uh, because they were indie darlings. But guys have been airlifted from his shows and hospitals because veins have been punctured. Or two hospitals because veins have been punctured from light tubes. And he paid off uh, one of the rival promoters, paid off his son in pain pills who later overdosed. Uh, he got wrestling banned. This in the nineties got wrestling banned from the National Guard armories in Indiana with hardcore bullshit like that. And most of the schools in Kentucky were turning off to wrestling because he got on the news uh, after the fucking supposed wrestlers after they'd finished bashing each other with shit, they would bleed on the fucking spectators. And this was made a news report. And of course, the fucking state government in Frankfurt heard about it. The athletic commission calls him in. So he comes in with gig marks on his head and stands up and cuts a pro wrestling promo on the commissioners. He ought to be allowed to do what he wants, blah, blah, blah. So they revoked his wrestler's license, his promoter's license. They tried to revoke his driver's license. And he had to go to southern Indiana where there is no commission and we're at a roller skating rink in front of 200 of these fucking kind of insane clown posse type of fucks that like that kind of shit. That's what they continue to do. Um, and I mean, they have outdoor shows and parking lots. Somebody sent me a fucking video of one where the, they had a girl wrestling a fucking guy and the guy potatoed the girl. So the fucking rest of the guys come out and beat the guy up for real, hit him with fucking bludgeons and shit and stomped his face in the thumbtacks because they got to have thumbtacks. And it's just fucking embarrassing. Uh, I've, I had written a number of letters to a local, uh, uh, newspaper, entertainment paper here in Louisville at the time. And we'd been interviewed on several news programs. How, what a dim view we took of this hardcore wrestling, these wannabe fucks that make the whole business look bad and that staples gun shit to their private parts. And that was not something that we as trainers of the, Next WWE generation of superstars were involved in that was not pro wrestling because we had NCAA champions and goddamn American gladiators and former NFL fucking players and high caliber professional athletes in our program sanctioned by the athletic commission, drawing people to six flags, Kentucky kingdom and to Louisville gardens and to our regular arena, 500 a week for fucking three years, three years or so. I think at one point a string uh, and he couldn't fucking take it because here not long ago, Ian Rotten was actually his job was he was working at Taco Bell on the on the as a line cook. But when one of the other outlaw mud show wrestlers that fucking don't like him stooged off to Taco Bell that he has hep C, they put him on the cash register at the drive through window with plastic gloves until his test results came back. And, and Ian Rotten doesn't work at Taco Bell anymore. So draw your own conclusions. So the point of this guy had done everything in the world to harm the credibility and the standing and the image of wrestling, not only with fans, but also with anybody that would want to have it in their buildings or arenas and the sponsors and et cetera. And he continues to do it in front of a few people because he's unregulated over there. But uh, for the most part, mainstream society doesn't know the fucking guy exists. And for the good of the wrestling business, we should try to keep it that way. That's my opinion of Ian fucking rotten.